Hello, we're in England. We're doing Antiques uh, full collection from England today. And we're now doing a mirror. This is an Edwardian mirror. It's uh, just a bit too late to be Victorian. It's possibly Victorian, but it's, it, I think it's going to be 1910, 20, 30. But it's a very pleasing mirror. And I'll go through some of the aspects which makes this a good mirror. The first thing is the, the glass is beveled. That's always the thing to look for in mirrors. The glass is beveled at the side. So that's, that's a plus. You have a bead gilt trim. You have a inlaid shell. It's sort of semi Georgian style, semi Dutch style. Uh, you, you'll see that on a lot of 18th century English tea caddies. It's just a shell motif, very, very common. You have um, a scallop at the top. It's, it's you know, St. Jack, St. John, sorry, St. James. And um, it's not a religious emblem there here, it's used as a decorative emblem. You could say it's a Queen Anne emblem, perhaps 1720. You have a fretwork mirror. It's cut out planks, and this is a very much 18th century Georgian English type of mirror, but it's a hybrid. You've got the fretwork mirror shape, Georgian. You've got the 18th century emblem at the bottom, which it wouldn't have been an original. You have a scallop, Queen Anne -ish, Georgian emblem at the top. You wouldn't have them together. You have the beaded um, trim, which isn't a necessarily an English, English trim. Um, you could say it's semi-regency, I suppose, but it's, it's more, it's more slightly, slightly sort of continental looking. You have a beveled glass, and in, a, in an early era you wouldn't have beveled glass. But they put it all together to make a smart, useful mirror. I'll show you the back. The uh, back is plywood. You start seeing plywood in the 1880s with the hooks. It's saying to me 1920, 30, maybe 1910, very possibly 1900, but I think it's a bit later. This is mahogany, solid mahogany, being stained down in the back, and they're trying to make it look like a Georgian mirror. It is a Georgian style mirror, and it's a, you know, it's a good size, it's mellow, it has these, these details, the beveling, the gold beads, the scallop, the shell, you have the, sh the shaped fret fretwork, shape of the mirror. Um, so it's quite simple to make. But I mean, the problem is, even that mirror, even though it's not antique, no, antique antique, it's not cheap, these mirrors are valuable. And, um, and, uh, with mirrors, uh, there is an acceptance of 20th century mirrors. Starting. Nowadays, people will, an antique dealer will sell them more willingly. When I started dealing in the late 80s, there was a certain dislike of 20th century mirrors. That's dropping away now. And um, I think of its, of its type, that's a very nice mirror, they're in a very good house. And uh, I hope you like it as well. Thanks for having a look.